Hi there. Um, if you're trying to send Telegram messages using the .NET client Telegram bot, dot, bot API and all of a sudden it stopped working and you don't know why and you're getting an error message, maybe it says unable to create a secure connection TLS SSL. Uh, we're going to quickly show you how to do a, a fix for that to get it to work. Um, so we are using this um, Telegram um, API, it's called telegram.bot. I'm just going to quickly show you with, um, if I go to uh, Visual Studio. So if I go under NuGet Solution, so this is the bot here we're using by Round Robin. Um, it's one of the most popular uh, APIs to use to send Telegram messages. It's very simple and easy to use. We're using the latest version, which is 15.3. Um, and if I go to the form here, now what I'm going to show you is the reason we were doing this is because um, only recently people have been um, complaining that all of a sudden their Telegram bots have stopped working. And we ourselves were a company that actually does software for traders. And we've got a few customers that have said that their Telegram bots have stopped working. And one of our Telegram testing tools also wasn't working. So we had to investigate it and find out why and apply a fix. So what I'm going to quickly do now is just comment out this code, which is part of the fix. I'll do that first, actually. I should have done that at the start. And I'm going to um, run this now and show you what goes on. So I'm going to put a breakpoint there. This is just a basic Windows application. If I click Start. Now what I'm going to do is press the button, go through the code and show you what goes on. So without this code here, which is exactly the same as the example code that um, is shown here. OK, if you have a look, it just says um, Telegram bot client, get me a sync result. So it's very basic. It doesn't have the um, new um, uh, oh God, I'm talking about now, new, the new uh, information we've got here with the security protocol, sorry. It doesn't have that on it. If you have a look, it just has the basic. So their documentation doesn't include this. I'm not sure, it's not happening to everybody. So I'm not sure whether a later version of the .NET framework fixes this or not. Um, but if you are getting this error, then I'm going to quickly show you how to fix it with a few lines of code. So I'm going to step through this code now. And you see the error comes up and it says the request was aborted, could not create SSL TLS secure channel. OK, so what I'm going to do is stop. And if you were not to use this code and you were just to try um, and execute the um, to send a text message using Telegram, it doesn't actually give you the error message. So I'm going to run this now for people that don't get that error message, but they don't know why their bot's not working. What you'll get is this. It will run through as if nothing's happening, waiting for activation. I think it has to come out the method before it actually does anything, but it doesn't send a message. If I click continue, there's no uh, Telegram message that's been sent, otherwise it would pop up at the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is put this code back in and add these two lines of code. I put them in the class, class construction. You can put them, I think, in the method, but it's probably better to be there. And I'm going to add the system.net, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so you've included the library system.net and you've added these two values um, to include a security protocol TLS, which is the latest one. Um, for compatibility reasons, you've got SSL3 at the bottom there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is put a breakpoint back there and run it again. And what you'll get is the object there will be populated with values of the, uh, the from the token, the values of the bot. And if I continue now and come out of the method, the Telegram message is sent, so it's working. So that's the fix. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if I go again to NuGate package, uh, again, we've got Telegram bot 15.3, and we're using uh, 4.51 of the .NET framework. So it doesn't need to be um, a higher framework to get this to work. And if I go back to the um, page here, you can see on the, the documentation hasn't been updated here. I might be wrong, but I don't know. Um, why this is happening, but I went on the internet and I looked at it and there was a lot of people complaining it stopped working. And the reason we're doing this video and we've done a blog as well is because we've had um, an influx of customers contacting us saying why have their bots stopped working all of a sudden. OK, so that's the fix for it. Um, as if you are using that library, if you're not using that library, it's still straightforward. Um, there's a web page here. You can come to us, clickalgo.com. And if you scroll down, it's got a bit more information about it here. OK, that's it. Oh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Thank you.